Hey everybody, just a quick note on Venezuela too before we can get into any of that. Uh, I want to note that our patience and that of the international community is running out. It's running out on waiting for the Venezuelan electoral authorities to come clean and release the full detailed data on this election so that everyone can see the results. You may have seen the Carter Center, an independent observer, just earlier this morning released a report stating that, quote, Venezuela's 2024 presidential election did not meet international standards of electoral integrity and cannot be considered democratic. They concluded that the, quote, electoral authority's failure to announce disaggregated results by polling station constitutes a serious breach of electoral principles. We share those concerns. Matter of fact, this afternoon, the Organization of American States Permanent Council is going to hold a meeting to address the results of the electoral process in Venezuela. I'm not going to get ahead of that meeting, of course. I would simply reiterate that the United States joins other democracies in the region and actually around the world in expressing serious concerns about these subversions of democratic norms. Now, as you all know, the Venezuelan people have taken to the streets to demand that their votes be counted. You can't very well blame them for that. We have serious concerns about the reports of casualties, violence, and arrests, including the arrest warrants that my Maduro and his representatives issued today for opposition leaders. We condemn political violence and repression of any kind. And our hearts, of course, go out to all the families that have lost a loved one or facing injuries they got to try to recover from. Alongside the international community, we're watching and we're going to respond accordingly.